You are listening to Vocabulary Builder from Perfect English with Danny. Learn new words every day. Welcome to a new episode from Vocabulary Builder from Perfect English with Danny. Today we're going to continue our word list for the first week and we're going to focus on the four key words for today. Forsake, gainful, immense, and inept. Let's start with the first word, forsake. It is spelled F-O-R-S-A-K-E. Forsake. Forsake means to give up, renounce, to leave, or to abandon. For example, we will say, I will never forsake my children, no matter what they do or say. I will never leave them. I will never give them up. I will never abandon them. And synonyms for forsake are the verbs desert and disown. And antonyms for forsake are the verbs keep, hold on to, or stand by. So that was about the first word. What about the second word, gainful, which is an adjective? It is spelled G-A-I-N-F-U-L and pronounced gainful. Now, gainful is an adjective that means profitable or bringing in money or some special advantage. For example, we say, I hope to find gainful employment that is pleasing to me. And gainful here, we're talking about profitable. We're talking about something that brings in money. And synonyms for gainful are the adjectives money-making and paying. And the antonyms are unprofitable, unrewarding, or non-paying. And how about the third word, immense, which is also an adjective. It is spelled I-M-M-E-N-S-E and pronounced immense. Immense is an adjective that means very large or great, beyond ordinary means of measurement, something sometimes you can't even imagine. You can't even begin to imagine how big this thing is. We call it immense. We don't simply call something that is just big. We don't call it immense. Immense, remember, it is something beyond ordinary means of measurement. For example, we can say Alaska enjoys immense natural resources, but its severe climate makes those resources difficult to use. And synonyms for immense are the words vast, enormous, immeasurable, and gigantic. And the antonyms are the words small, tiny, minute, and infinitesimal. And for the last word for this episode, inept. It is also an adjective, and it is spelled I-N-E-P-T and pronounced inept. Now, inept means totally without skill or appropriateness. For example, the scientist is brilliant in the research laboratory, but is inept at dealing with people. He has no skill. And synonyms for inept are the words clumsy, unskilled, bungling, and incompetent. And antonyms are the words skillful, accomplished, and adroit. So these were the four words for today's episode. Forsake, gainful, immense, and inept. Now stay tuned for the last two episodes for this week. And by the end of this week, when we've reached 20 new words, we will have a quiz, activities, and they're going to be fun and in different ways, the way you like it. You're going to find online activities, printable crossword puzzles, word searches, and more. All of that for you to check your understanding, to check how much you remember of these words you learned this week. And the more important thing, that will help you retain these words. That will help your retention of the new vocabulary you've learned so you can add them to your active vocabulary, the words you can use in your own conversations. This is Danny, your host, saying thank you very much for listening to another episode. I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned. <music>